to be able to have to do. But I am so proud that I get to do this on behalf of the Ruth Jones story. I never got to know her, but by all accounts, she personified the very best of this nation. She was generous, not just in word, but in action. Kind, not just to her neighbors, but to strangers. She made this country a more perfect union. She grew up with just one goal, to serve, to serve in blue. Well, actually, I take that back. She had two goals. Her second goal was to see her Cubs hoisting up the World Series trophy. And true to form, she wouldn't let her personal trial or a decades-old sports curse stop her from accomplishing her goals. She was able to do both. She joined the Illinois State Police in 2007, and through her service, she gave to two families, one in uniform and one outside of it. Meeting fellow trooper and her eventual husband, Robert, on the job a year after becoming a cadet. She showed her strength by caring for the most vulnerable among us in the line of duty and on her rescue farm. I've often said that our first responders are the only other people who guarantee the quality of their work with their lives, just as our men and women in the military do. Whenever I went out and I flew my, my helicopter, and my crew chief gave me the keys to my bird, he guaranteed that he'd done his job maintaining that bird, not by a piece of paper, not by a salute, but by climbing into the back of that bird and going on those missions with me. So too do our troopers guarantee the quality of their job work with their lives. I'd like to see any other job in the civilian world where that help wanted ad said that. But our troopers do it every single day. They do it quietly with the dignity and the dedication to their jobs, day after day after day. And we, the public, are all the better and safer for it. Brooke showed her strength by caring for the most vulnerable among us. She was a stepmom and a daughter, a sibling and a spouse. She was an American hero. And I'm so proud to say that she was an Illinoisan. So thank you, Brooke. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your compassion and bravery, for putting country over self, for putting other safety above your own time after time after time. Thank you for doing right by those who need. It's deeply unfair that Brooke lost her life so early and that all of you have to live with the trauma of her loss, that we have to bear that heaviest weight of all, grief. But just as she was willing to do anything to perform her duties, every single one of us who knew her or who knew of her now has a duty of our own to honor her memory just as she would have wanted on being there for each other, on watching and having each other's backs, by looking out for the vulnerable, by living a life of service, just as she did every day. She will continue to set an example for the troopers who come behind her, male and female, who will look and see her name on this wall, who will hear of her service from her comrades, and who will know how they should conduct themselves when they gain that uniform. So I thank her for her life of service. Over the past few months, Brooke's memory has inspired all of us to work harder and fight tougher, and I know it's inspired me to keep doing everything I can to honor her legacy from Washington in the days, weeks, months, and years to come. God bless Brooke Jones' story and all of those who love her and all of those who will learn from her example of service. God bless every person serving our nation, and always, God bless the United States of America.